Hi friends! How are you all today? I'm doing well and goodness! Okay, well I want to say we're sitting at the piano today. It looks a little different than usual, but we're going to sing and learn a song together. Um, the song is called Kanei Mi Makaro. And what I've learned about it is that it originates, um, this print of the song says Spanish. It's a Spanish song. The research that I've done indicates that, that the translation is most connected to Cuba and Venezuela. So, you know, there's some ambiguity there. But what I've learned is that Kanei, um, it refers to a longhouse or a hut. And mi makaro is a one of is a very ambiguous term. I've read that it's difficult to translate, and that could be because um, because it's a place or um, a, a specific thing to the the whoever wrote the music. So um, I'm gonna play it. And then I'm going to sing us through it, and this is the, the cool part of this song, or the cool thing about this song is it's, um, it's kind of an echo song, like a leader sings, and then the group sings along, and then the group and the leader sing together. So it's kind of this unifying song, and I get the impression that, um, that this was written as a way to kind of lead and bring people together, so, or to celebrate something. And I'm very curious to know what that might be. So I'll, I think I'm going to do some more research and read up a little bit. And if you all, if anyone there on the other side of the screen knows more than I do about this, then please share. And if you're just curious about knowing something more, then go ahead and tell me that too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started now. Um, like I said, I'm going to play it on piano just so you can get a sense. It's actually a lovely, it's a beautiful melody. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play it and then, and then I'll sing it. Okay. And also before I do that, the, the other great thing is that it's very repetitive. So even if you can't pronounce the words and I may not be pronouncing them totally correctly, but, um, even if you can't pronounce the words, you can sing on la or you can hum and it's just lovely. It's lovely, lovely melody. So here we go. lovely I think it's beautiful it has this really sort of minor um, gentle feeling maybe um, it's supposed to be more um, I don't know upbeat but usually with um, with minor songs they're a little bit more um, I don't know they're a little bit more somber and so I'm, it makes me interested about this piece and I hope it piques your your curiosity as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sing it. I'll probably sing it in little parts and then um, put it all together. So this first part here, this first phrase would, would be the leader phrase and then after that, the group would come in and sing with, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> phrase okay Kane mi caro, Kane mi caro, Kane mi caro, Kane mi caro. and then the second phrase oops that was wrong <laughs> Okay, 
phrase, so that second phrase. Cane mi caro, cane mi caro, cane mi caro, cane mi caro. Okay, and then this third phrase here. <clears throat> That second phrase, or that third phrase, sorry, it starts just like the first phrase. But it ends a little bit differently. And to really finish out the song, you can do what we call in music um, a retard or retardando, which just means that you slowly gradually finish off the song so cane mi caro cane mi caro just like that all right so i'm going to sing it through the whole time i hope as this goes on that you can just la 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 and sing it, uh, listen to it a couple times this week, and then maybe you can pick up on some of the words, too. All right. And that's that. I think I realized as I was singing it that I'm missing a part of that word, kane mi makaro. Um, so it would be kane mi makaro, kane mi makaro. But even just taking in um, the, the melody there and taking in, you know, even bits and pieces of of the translation can kind of give you a visual of like maybe why this song was written or who who wrote it and um you know what inspired this this writing so um i hope this takes you to a place of empathy and wonder and just an opening of the mind and the heart to other ways of living other cultures other times um and yeah and that you just feel the the you just feel the music in the way that it was maybe intended to be written so, um, yeah, that's what I have today, and I'm going to just sing this. I'm going to sing it around my house, and I'm going to think about my, my house as a hut or as a long house, whatever it was meant to be, and, um, and refer my house this week to the kanei, if that's the correct uh, translation. So, I hope you all are well, and I hope you have a great week, and I'm excited and looking forward to our next video together. Bye, friends.